the new windows in the north wall should be viewed together. They depict the four seasons and were donated by Wendy Walker in 2007 in memory of her son and parents. They were installed at a special service which was taken by the Reverend John Allen with the dedication by Archdeacon Chris Lilly. The windows were made locally by Graham Chaplin. The left of the two windows shows spring and summer. In the left hand panel we see Litchfield Cathedral in the background, a canal bridge and a swan which nest locally amongst the reeds. Cherry blossom adorns a tree and spring flowers are in bloom. The right hand panel has a heron which can often be seen fishing on the river. Two white butterflies dance next to an oak tree. The top panels show the white rose of Yorkshire, the original home of the family, and a Staffordshire knot signifying where they made their home. Between them the sun beams down. In the right of the two windows we see autumn and winter. The left hand panel, autumn, has two white doves feeding on the abundant berries. A pheasant stands by blackberries and poppies. The right hand panel is winter. It's cold and stark. A fox hides amongst the dead bracken, watched over by a robin. In the holly tree is an owl, and the fields are covered in snow. In the top panels there is the cross of St Chad, in whose diocese the church resides, and is also the emblem of Paul Walker's school in Denston. The Mercedes car logo symbolises Paul's place of work, and his love for that brand. It also echoes the Trinity. Between them are the moon and the stars, a sign that long nights lay ahead. Across the four panels, the sky and land subtly change from bright, verdant colours to cold, wintry hues. At the bottom of the window is written, The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Dedicated to the memory of Paul Walker, Kay and Eric Bowser. Take a while to look at the detail and beautiful colours in these contemporary windows, and appreciate that the art of stained glass window making is still very much alive.